All right, I'm here at Ham Radio Outlet here in the Orlando area. It is raining like like crazy here today. And so, yeah, I just wanted to get a feel for the, the difference between the Icon 7300 and the FTDX10. And it's a great thing you could do here at Ham Radio Outlet. You can get actually get your hands on it, play around with them, see how they work and um and so i'm just going to do that and uh be interesting to see what kind of antenna they've got and how this rain's going to play in you know sometimes with the lightning especially on the lower bands you get lots of lightning crashes but we'll see what the difference is between these radios how they handle this kind of weather situation the lightning crashes and and just you know i heard that the ftdx 10 has this amazing digital noise reduction so i just wanted to check it out for myself Let's see how it goes. What we've got here is a Yezu FTDX10 and an ICOM 7300. And they have this on this antenna switcher right here. And you can switch between the 7300 and the DX10. So we could try out and see how it sounds. And just get our hands on it and see how the waterfall looks. This is, and it's a really bad, they got lots of lightning and lots of interference here, but. The noise reduction is on six, which is quite high, but I use it there from time to time. But this is what we're seeing, we've got preamble one on right now. We'll switch over. This is the FTDX10 on the same. All this interference here. And you hear this kind of this kind of noise. It's just driving this thing crazy. It's driving this thing absolutely crazy. And even the noise blanker can't really completely deal with that. back over to the 7300 and it just seems to not be bothered that much by this let's see noise blanker noise blanker completely turned off now and yet we don't hear that it's just not bothered by the it's not not as bothered as that ftdx 10 was Alright, so here's the FTDX 10, 14247. Let's see, we got just all kinds of garbage in here. Okay, let's see. Change over to the 7300 now, 14247. Okay, yeah, you're up to about a 5556 five, five, now, so uh, no problem at all. But uh, people in Europe might have lost me, but glad to have you. And uh, I guess you didn't hear me when I called you earlier, either you hadn't made it to the frequency, but we're glad to have you aboard. Appreciate all you do for the net, and I've got you on the list, and uh, we'll get over your way shortly, okay? Let's see, I. Okay, don't even have the noise blanker on and this is what it sounds like noise reduction six and I could change it back to five I usually run between five and six let's see Okay, 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, ZB, very good. Thank you very much for standing by for the net. And thank you for the five by seven. I have you about five and two. At the so moment. in this particular uh, condition with right, this, we had a rainstorm going on and, and, you know, they've got some kind of interference. It almost sounds like cars driving by or something, but in this particular condition, the, the FTDX-10 is just having a much tougher time than the 7300. And Noise Blanker doesn't seem to be able to completely cancel this thing out. Okay, it doesn't sound like I'm uh, getting into Europe real well today. I usually get several, so uh, uh, maybe the band hasn't completely opened up yet. Uh, let me read out the list of uh, stations we have on frequency, and then we'll see if we have some more like to call them. Uh, let me just verify five or so here. Stronger here. Okay, and I've got a room full of you, no problem at all. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, everyone, we, uh, if you want to grab the ink together, some paper, Ramps and off. Off. or your magic marker, or whatever. Coming in fine. Really strong. ...that are on frequency outside the United States that are available to be called. We have Victor, Echo, Nine, Zulu, Papa. That's Don in New Brunswick, Canada. We have Golf, India, Zero. I normally adjust the waterfall differently. But nevertheless, it does look better, even in this. You really start to see that interference. But the interference just doesn't seem to be bothering this so much. And the noise blanker just completely gets rid of it. So the test was very surprising to me. I was really prepared to buy the Yezu, although I do have other ICOM gear. I have a 7100 and a 7610s. I, I wanted to buy another radio for a different location. Uh, and I was really prepared to buy the, the Yezu and really wanted to test the difference. Um, and uh, it just, because of the noise, because of that, the, the situation I saw at Ham Radio Outlet, it just, the, the 7300 was the winner for that particular case. Now, had the Ham Radio Outlet had a different antenna and you know, the situation being that I was really interested in weak signals and trying to pull out weak signals. I think the the, the Yezu would have won hands down. But, you know, with all that noise in the background, it just, that the Yezu, it just couldn't handle it. It just was going crazy. Um, and so uh, that's why I chose the 7300 in this particular case. Um so let me know what you think here. You know, one of the things that occurred to me was that maybe Ham Radio Outlet, the particular Yezu there, had different settings, which, which you know, where they're doing their, their potential buyers a disservice by having these settings in an incorrect way or something like that. I did poke around with the radio for about a half hour. I became comfortable with the user interface of it and poked around with it, tried different bands and stuff like that. I felt like I... You know, I didn't explore every option because <laughs> even on these uh, ICOMs, I, I haven't either. But um, I don't know. It was just I was really expecting more from the from the the DX10, and I just think that that the, the particular interference we had in the particular situation, which we have a lot in Florida, a lot of you know kind of lightning strikes and storms and stuff like that, and it just was not happy. So, uh, yep. Yeah, so, like I say, in the end, I did buy the 7300 um happy with the purchase but still wondering about the uh the yezu you know it just kind of it's that kind of situation where you're always wondering you know could it have been different could i have settings different could this have been different um yeah so let me know what you think but that was my experience thanks for watching